thermodynamic trap. Let's recall, what is steam trap? Steam traps are a type of automatic valve that filters out, condensate that is condensed steam, and, non-condensable gases such as air without letting steam escape. In this video, we will learn about thermodynamic steam traps. In short form, they are known as TD traps. Thermodynamic steam traps are operated by the principle of thermodynamics and also known as kinetic energy operated steam traps. The principle behind the operation of thermodynamic steam traps is Bernoulli's principle. The equation of Bernoulli's theorem is shown below. Let's recall, Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle states that, an increase in the speed of a fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in static pressure or a decrease in the fluid's potential. A simple example of Bernoulli's principle is shown in the left side. There is a tube with same opening in ends and little confined space in between. Bernoulli's principle states that energy per unit volume before confined space is equal to the energy per unit volume after. That is, Bernoulli's effect is the reduction in pressure occurs when fluid's velocity increases. Why to use thermodynamic steam traps? Thermodynamic traps are the most widely used steam traps for removing condensate from main lines largely due to their small size, wide pressure range, one moving part, and resistance to water hammer and corrosion. Let's see the construction of TD trap. This is the inner image of the thermodynamic steam trap. You will get a good idea of how a TD trap looks like inside. There is space for condensed steam steam inlet and outlet. There is a screen between and below the inlet and outlet which catches the containment present in the condensate. A cap is situated on the top of the trap which consists of a disc and a seat inside it. Let's see how thermodynamic steam traps works. Basically, TD traps works in four stages. Each stage is explained with animated steam trap. Stage 1. On startup, incoming condensate pressure raises the disc, and cool condensate plus air is immediately discharged from the inner ring, under the disc, and out through three peripheral outlets. After that stage 2 occurs. Hot condensate flowing through the inlet passage into the chamber under the disc drops in pressure and releases flash steam moving at high velocity. This high velocity creates a low pressure area under the disc, drawing it towards at the same seat. time. The flash steam pressure builds up inside the chamber above the disc, forcing it down against the incoming condensate until it seats on the inner and outer rings. At this point, the flash steam is trapped in the upper chamber, and the pressure above the disc equals the pressure being applied to the underside of the disc from the inner ring. However, the top of the disc is subject to a greater force than the underside, as it has a greater surface area. Eventually the trapped pressure in the upper chamber falls as the flash steam condenses. The disc is raised by the now higher condensate pressure and the cycle repeats. The rate of operation depends on steam temperature and ambient conditions. Most traps will stay closed for between 20 and 40 seconds. If the trap opens too frequently, perhaps due to a cold, wet, and windy location, the rate of opening can be slowed by simply fitting an insulating cover onto the top of the trap. Advantages of Thermodynamic Steam Trap Number 1. TD traps can operate across their entire working range without any adjustment or change of internals. Number 2. Compact, simple, lightweight and have a large condensate capacity for their size. Number 3. TD traps can be used on high pressure and superheated steam and are not affected by water hammer or vibration. The old stainless steel construction offers a high degree of resistance to corrosive condensate. Number 4. TD traps are not damaged by freezing and are unlikely to freeze if installed with the disc in a vertical plane and discharging freely to atmosphere. However, operation in this position may result in wear of the disc edge. 
number 5. As the disc is the only moving part, maintenance can easily be carried out without removing the trap from the line. Number 6. The audible click which occurs as the trap opens and closes makes trap testing very straightforward. Disadvantages of Thermodynamic Steam Trap Thermodynamic traps can discharge a large amount of air on startup if the inlet pressure builds up slowly. However, rapid pressure buildup will cause high velocity air to shut the trap in the same way as steam, and it will air bind. In this case a separate thermostatic air vent can be fitted in parallel with the trap. Modern thermodynamic steam traps can have an inbuilt anti-air binding disc which prevents air pressure building up on top of the disc and allows air to escape. Another disadvantage is that the discharge of the trap can be noisy and this factor may prohibit the use of a thermodynamic trap in some locations, for example outside a hospital ward or operating theater. If this is a problem, it can easily be fitted with a diffuser which considerably reduces the discharge noise. It's all about thermodynamic traps. In upcoming videos, we will learn about more types of steam trap. Thanks for watching and if you liked this video, please subscribe our this channel and stay with us for more informative videos.